Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Su-30 MKI is the backbone of Indian Air Force and its upgrades are happening silently and steadily. Known for its super maneuverability, weapon package and a powerful bars PSA radar, the jet still remains invincible in the air and the same was witnessed in the air skirmish followed by Balakot strike between India and Pakistan Air Forces. Recently, we have also informed our viewers about the integration of latest radar warning receiver with the Su-30 MKIs. The project worth Rs 1000 crore is planned to purchase 125 DRWR118 digital radar warning receivers developed by DRDO to boost the avionic capabilities of the warplane. The RWR systems detect radio emissions of radar systems. Their primary purpose is to issue a warning when a radar signal that might be a threat is detected. The new DRWR makes the detection process more versatile, flexible and powerful against even the most complex radar signatures. Recently, we have also seen a picture of Su-30 MKIs armed with Rafale Spice 2000 precision guided munition and lightning targeting pod. The work on the integration of Israeli Spice 2K with Russian fighter has started right after the Balakut strike, which was not an easy task as both the platform belongs to two different countries and there are always challenges in sharing the source code for the integration. Now since this integration has fortified, it has added another lethal bomb into the arsenal of Su-30 MKIs, which is going to be a big worry for our adversaries. However, it will not be correct to call SPICE as a bomb. Rather, it's a guidance kit for bombs. SPICE stands for Smart Precise Impact and Cost Effective Guidance Kit. It's a smart guidance kit to convert a dumb or an unguided bomb into smart or say guided bombs. SPICE 2000 carries 2000 pound around 1000 kg weapon which is being guided by SPICE kit for sake of better precision and self navigation. These bombs are preloaded with satellite pictures and coordinates of the target. Guided by its navigation or seeker, SPICE 2000 reaches its target on its own after the launch which makes them truly fire and forget bombs. It can be dropped from a standoff distance of up to 60 kilometers. However, just by knowing SPICE 2000, we cannot say which bombs were used. SPICE 2000 are also known as bunker busters because they first penetrate inside the concrete structure with huge impact due to its momentum followed by an explosion. Therefore, there might not be any visible structural damage where the bomb is dropped except for a hole. However, everything inside the structure is destroyed. It is also important to note that when we say SPICE 2000 or SPICE 1000, it does not include explosive warhead of 2000 pounds or 1000 pounds respectively. The explosive warhead will be lesser than that and the explosion percentage in the total mass of bomb could go very low depending upon the other requirements. The penetration oriented weapons such as SPICE spends a large portion of their mass in metal casing which is responsible for the penetration. Another noticeable point is that it is an anti-personal bomb which means it creates much high temperature instead of creating high pressure blasts which again explains why there won't be much visible structural damage. While the Mirage 2000 used in strike package of Balakot strike can carry only two Spike 2000, the Su-30 MKIs can carry six of them, which means one Su-30 MKI is sufficient to carry out bombing mission like Balakot. The next weapon which we are going to talk about is Rudram Anti-Radiation Missile. Rudra M1, also called NGARM, that is New Generation Anti-Radiation Missile, is developed by DRDO and jointly produced by BEL and BDL. Rudram 1 weighs 600 kg and has a length of 5.5 meters. The missile also uses a dual pulse rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The range of this missile is 15 km to 200 km and flight altitude of 15 km to 500 meters. This missile uses GPS or Navic satellite guidance 
along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance. For guidance in the terminal phase, it has MMW, that is millimeter web seeker. This missile has capability to fire in lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch modes. There are a few more versions of Rudram under development called Rudram 2, Rudram 2A and Rudram 3. Rudram 2 and Rudram 3 are going to have reported range of approximately 330 and 550 kilometers respectively. The Su-30 MKI has again capability to carry 6 Rudram 1 missile and launch them from a standoff distance of 200 meters for either said that is suppression of enemy air defense or dead that is destruction of enemy air defense missions. The launch of Rudram from a standoff distance of 200 meter is beyond the reach of surface to air missile of Pakistan and China except for S-400 systems. Back in October last year, Rudram 1 was tested from Su-30 MKIs from Willer Island. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.